Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to run you through how Shopify works. So what that consists of is I'm going to talk about what Shopify is in the first place, the features that Shopify has inside it, the pros and cons of using Shopify, and finally I'm going to talk about how you can set Shopify up, the steps you need to follow to get set up with Shopify. And this is going to be a very general top level explanation of what Shopify is. If you want a really detailed technical walkthrough of specific aspects of Shopify, you're not going to get that here. This is for people new to Shopify who just want a general understanding of how it works and what it can do. This is the video for you. All right, so let's just jump in straight away into what Shopify is. Shopify is a website, it's an online platform that you can use to build an online store. You may have heard of Logan Paul and all of the products that he sells through YouTube, or he built his store using Shopify. And also, Kylie Jenner and all of her cosmetics, she sells all of her products through Shopify, through her very own Shopify store. So Shopify is a product that you can use to make your own store that's on the internet that people can find and buy your products. And if we jump over to the official Shopify website, we can see the description here that Shopify is an e-commerce solution that allows you to set up an online store to sell your goods. It lets you organize your products, customize your storefront, accept credit card payments, track and respond to orders with a click of a mouse. So there it is, it's basically saying it lets you to set up a website to upload your products onto that website to accept payments from your customer, whether they're paying for credit card, PayPal, accept payments, and then also manage your inventory and send those orders to your customers. And with global e-commerce sales set to increase from $2.8 trillion worth of sales in 2018 this year to $4.5 trillion worth of sales in 2021, more and more people are getting in to setting up their own store, selling products, and trying to get a piece of this growing e-commerce pie. Whether they're selling unknown printed t-shirts, cheap products that they've imported from China and they're selling for a higher price to a Western audience, or arts and crafts they've made their self, more and more people are getting into e-commerce and using Shopify as the tool to build their own store. If you want to try Shopify out for free, there's a link in the description below to get your two week free trial before you have to start paying the monthly subscription. So you can jump in, have a play, and see if setting up a Shopify store works for you. And if you want advice on how to get your first sale, there's a 21 part video training course from Ezra Firestone, famous e-commerce guru, on my website. There's a link to that below in the description where you can go through and watch the 21 videos where Ezra teaches you the tricks and tips to getting your first sale with your online store. But that's a quick introduction into what Shopify is. Now we're going to talk about the features Shopify has, the pros and cons of using Shopify, and finally I'll give you a step-by-step -step process of how you set your Shopify store up. From the first step of signing up to launching your store live, what you have to do to get from point A to point B. So let's have a look at some of the features of a Shopify store, and we're gonna use Logan Paul's store as an example as we run through these features. So your typical store comes with things like, you know, you can sell physical products, so Logan Paul is selling t-shirts here, you can sell trousers, furniture, hard physical products that you can hold in your hand. And you can also set up a Shopify store to sell digital products. Now it's not doing that on this store here, the example, but you can do that if you wanna sell digital products such as PDFs and eBooks yourself. Every store has a search bar here where you can type in an item you wanna buy and it will search the store to find compatible products to that search. And the stores let you do other general things like picking your product sizes, your colors, recommending alternative products, reviewing a product. And if you go through to the add to order screen, let's just put in a default order, add that to cart. You can do things like have multiple ways of paying. You can even offer discounts on your store by giving voucher codes, coupon codes to your customers and allowing them to apply that discount at the checkout stage. There's a few other features such as being able to have a blog within your store so you can have your store and then a separate blog section. Shopify allows you to do that. You can do things like contact people if they've got to the last stage of the order process, so they've got to the shopping cart, the checkout stage, and then they decide to leave your site, you can send automatic emails to those people who have abandoned your website and try and encourage them back to your store. That's an automatic feature that Shopify allows you to use. Finally, the final feature is integration into other platforms. So you can build a Shopify store, and from your store, you can automatically sell on platforms such as Amazon, Facebook, 
Instagram and eBay, all from your single central Shopify store. It automatically connects into those channels and allows you to sell on those different websites at the same time as selling on your single Shopify store. So those are some of the awesome features you can use in Shopify. Like I said, Kylie Jenner, Logan Paul are using this at the moment. Uh, some other brands I've got them written down here, Tesla Motors, Red Bull, Budweiser have all created their stores on the Shopify platform. So let's look at some of the pros and cons of Shopify to see why so many people are using it and loving it at the moment and what some of the drawbacks are. So looking at the pros first, one of the huge benefits of Shopify is its ease of use. How easy it is to get up and running on Shopify. I've used it before and I can guarantee you that you can get a Shopify account and have your store online and running in the same day. It's that easy to use, that easy to set up and start selling your products. There's also a ton of apps and plugins that people have made that you can plug into your store to make it even better. This is little bits of code that you can add to your store that improves how your store looks and runs for your customers, increasing your chances of selling a product. You don't have to worry about performance or speed of Shopify. It's a really reliable, speedy service. There's never gonna be any downtime, any slow performance with your store. And finally, you've got a ton of certified partners able to help you with Shopify. Whether it's support gurus that can help you if you're having any problems setting your store up or you need some technical help, and also third-party companies that can provide business opportunities for you. One third-party provider I use is a company called Printful. They allow me to send my designs to them, and then whenever I sell my t-shirt through my Shopify store, Printful will automatically print and mail that t-shirt to the customer for me. So I don't even have to hold any stock. They do everything for me. They plug into my Shopify store seamlessly and handle all of the manufacturing for me. But what are some of the negatives of Shopify? You know, it's not all sugar and sunshine. And the first one being that those cool apps that I showed you earlier that you can plug in and add all this cool functionality to your site, they can add up and they can become quite expensive. They're not all free, you know, some of them are, but the best ones that you're gonna to want to add into your store to make it an awesome store, you have to pay for monthly. And you know, once you get five or 10 of those, you're gonna be paying a lot more extra to get this up and running. Customization is pretty limiting because Shopify is so easy to use and they wanna make their product so that anyone can use it. What they do is they lock down a lot of customization. You can't really edit and tweak it a lot. You have to really work within the limitations that Shopify have given you. And that is gonna be discouraging to a lot of technical people who normally like to get into their projects and change it a huge amount and really tweak it and play with the code. Search engine optimization with some other platforms where you can get in and customize it, like I just said, you can do a lot to improve the SEO, the search engine optimization, which is where your website ranks on Google. But with Shopify, you can't really get in and do much to improve the search engine optimization, the ranking of your website in Google. So there is limited opportunities within Shopify to boost your SEO score. And finally, Shopify doesn't do much to offer support with local taxes and VAT. You're left on your own to do that, which to be honest, I don't think that is a thing completely isolated to Shopify. I'd imagine other store providers have the same limitations because it's a legal responsibility, but as the retailer, you need to handle yourself but there isn't really much upfront support and help with taxes within Shopify. You have to figure that stuff out yourself. But that's a quick whistle-stop tour of what Shopify is and how it works, what some of the features are that you can use in Shopify. Like I said before, if you wanna try it out for yourself, it's completely risk-free, there's a two-week free link in my description so you can get a two week free trial, get up and running and try Shopify out for yourself. And if you don't like Shopify, you don't like the cons that I spoke about, there are alternatives you might wanna try out from big commerce, 3D cart, Volusion, you're not limited to just Shopify. There are other e-commerce platforms out there. But I'd say Shopify is by far the most popular at the moment. All right, cool, so let's quickly run through the steps it takes for you to set up Shopify. I've got down seven main steps from step one to step seven, from first starting to getting your store live, and I'm gonna run them through now. And these steps are all based on the official Shopify article on how to get Shopify up and running, which I've got on the screen now. And I'll link through to this article in the description to this video. So if you wanna read any more on what I say, you can just go into this article and really read into detail how to get your store up and running. So yeah, what are the seven steps to getting Shopify up and running and getting your store online and selling products? Well, step number one is you need to sign up for Shopify. And like I said, you've got a free two week free trial if you use the link in my description, that's how you get started. 
after that two week free trial, prices start at $29 a month. You're gonna to have to choose a pricing plan when your free trial is over. And I actually have made a video in the past about the different pricing plans available for Shopify. And I'll link you to that in the description so you can have an explanation of the different pricing plans and the benefits that each one offers you. Next, you're gonna to wanna to add a theme to your store. If you don't know what a theme is, a theme is how your store looks and feels to the public when they're looking on your store to buy a product. It's the colors, it's how it moves around, how the customer can interact with your store, it's the general feeling of your store. So you're gonna to wanna to choose a theme. There are a number of free themes that Shopify offers, and then there's some paid themes that you can choose from if you don't like the free ones. Next, just like Kylie Jenner, you're gonna to wanna to add products to your store. You know, these can be done in the back end of the store one by one. You can set the price of your products, the description. You can upload pictures of your products, multiple pictures if you want to. But the next step is going to be adding products to your store. After that, you're going to want to add a payment processor. So a payment processor is how you receive money from your customer. It's something you add to your store that allows your customers to type in their credit card information or their PayPal information or whatever method you want to allow your customer to use to pay you. It's the thing that handles that payment process. It takes the money from your customer and sends it to you. I've done a detailed video about payment processes and how you get paid on Shopify, which I'll link you to in the description below. You're seeing a pattern here. There's a video in the description below to find out about all our payment processes. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to set your shipping rates. So this is the cost you're gonna charge the customer for shipping your products to them. You can set different shipping rates depending on where in the world your customer is. If they are domestic customers, international customers, you can exclude countries. So you can say, we don't ship to this country, we don't ship to that country, you can exclude them. And then the places you decide to ship to, you can set different shipping rates depending on your products or where the customer is in the world. Then you're gonna to wanna to add your domain name to the store. Shopify is gonna give you a general web address when you first get started that people will use to land on your store. But if you wanna use a specific web address, a specific URL that you've decided is you know, your store's name and you love that web address, you have to buy it from somewhere else and add it into your store. You have to tell Shopify, this is the web address that my store can be found on. So that's gonna be the next step is bringing your domain name onto your Shopify store. And then your final step, you know, after everything is up and running, you've got your products, you've got your shipping rate set, you've got your web address in place, the next step is to go ahead and start selling your products. And like I said before, Ezra Firestone, a established e-commerce guru, has got a 21 part training series and I've got that link on my website. Just go to the card above or the link in the description below to find Ezra's 21 step training course to find out how to get your first sale once you've got your store up and running. And that's it really. I just wanted to give you a very top level general overview of how Shopify works. There's not really any specific technical information in this video, it's just a general video. If you want some more specifics on any of the areas that I've mentioned, on any of the specific requirements or things you can do with Shopify, let me know and I'll make some more specific targeted technical videos in the future around those topics. And just a quick note before we finish this video, there's a lot of scammers on YouTube at the moment who are trying to basically get you to give them money to train you on Shopify. But they're scammers really because they don't know how to use Shopify themselves. They're faking their results, they're faking the performance of the store and how much sales they've made every month. They're putting fake numbers out to trick you into thinking that they're experts at Shopify and sell their products. I've made a video on these Shopify scammers which I'll link you to in the description below, but I just want you to be careful and decide carefully who you use to learn from because there are a lot of scammers out there who've only got one thing in mind and that's tricking you into giving them your money so be careful but that's it for today's video i hope i provided you with a clear understanding of what shopify is and how it works like i said any more questions leave them in the description box below and finally i'd like to finish by just saying thank you for watching start starting up the channel all about making sales online building brands videos every monday and thursday make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed and best of luck with shopify if you have any questions let me know i'll speak to you very soon